Hey guys, today we're going to be showing how to put live feeds onto various objects in the game. So if you've ever wanted to have a live feed from units in the field or whatever like that, uh, this is going to be how you do it. So, uh, the easiest objects to do this on are objects that have this specific object uh, texture thing in their settings. Uh, that said, nearly any object can do this, but I can't guarantee your results. Uh, these are the ones that I've found with a quick search. I'm pretty sure you can do it with billboards and other stuff as well. And with the two screen options, you actually have the ability to do two different feeds, which is a pretty cool little thing. So, uh, I'm going to show you the rugged tablet. So, how we set this up is we set the object texture for zero, which is the uh, one down here, to what's going to be called a uh, procedural texture, which is complicated and I'm not going to go into how to do it and what it all means. But basically what we need to do is we need to put in this value here to set the colors and then the R2T is the very important bit to make it into a real-time feed. Lastly, we need to name what that feed is going to be. So in this case, I've named it UAV RTT and then we also add this one. Cool. So that's that bit done. The only thing we need to do after that is we need to make our feed. So you can do this in the init here if you want. Or you can do it uh, in a file, it doesn't really matter how you want to. But basically all we need to do is you make a camera, then you set that effect, and in that uh, the effect you name it that name that we've already decided, which is UAV RTT. Uh, then we attach that to what we want. Um, and then I've added some extra things here to make the camera zoom in a bit and also to make it a thermal camera. Uh, I've also added some extra cameras down here. They're just attached to some dudes. Uh, the last thing that we need to do uh, to make it line up with a camera is on the object itself, we need to tell the camera to look at my position. And we add this complicated piece of maths to make our camera look in the same direction as the UAV camera. And we can uh, give mad props to Killzone Kid, whose uh, code I've totally stolen to get this particular bit to happen. I'll put a link to his blog down below where he goes into a little bit more detail about how all this works. But once you've got all that, you're good to go.